Alright, I'm gonna ask myself, what did I get myself into now? Alright, so this is a 24 valve between 1998 and a half to 2002. And this is the platinum plate. You can see it only has one, one opening here. What I want to do is to be able to install a dual intake so the back cylinders can get air as well over here. So I'm in the middle of taking everything off so we can show you how it's going to be done over here in Miami Outlaw Diesel. Alright, I got the lines off. That ain't no picnic taking off those lines off that lift pump, let me tell you. I mean, the injector pump. So getting ready to take this bad boy off. And then we'll keep it moving. Since we're having so much fun, this was a crazy Carl uh, twin turbo set kit. And it came with this, and for some reason, this, so you can see it goes to the bottom of the turbo here. This attaches to the top turbo. The problem with this is it's three inches. So we have four inch, three inch pipe. So we're gonna correct that today. We're gonna put four inch. So we're gonna be doing a lot better boosting uh, on this engine when we're done. I'll keep you everybody up to date. All right. tubes that you have to bend yes you're on the air <laughs> which tubes did you have to bend three and two three and two three and two all right and this is not easy no at all. you have to have experience yes. as you saying like an old doll exactly like me okay. Let's wrap it up here real quick what we did here this twin air intake setup usually you can find these types of setups only for a 12 valve Cummins 5.9 engine you don't see them sold for a 24 valve the platinum plate which we used is for a 12 valve but it's obvious that it's the same bolt pattern the same size as a 24 valve so with this setup you get better and balanced airflow in particular for cylinders five and six you get a lower air intake temperature and as far as the other piping that we did before i had the crazy coral uh, 
twin turbo setup, which is terrible in, in my opinion for other reasons I'm not gonna go into right now, but it was just a super pain in the butt to install. But we noticed that when we was doing this, that these pipes were three inches and the outside diameter of the turbo was four. So we seen a decrease in airflow and ultimately a decrease in boost. So we went with the four inch tubing that reaches all the way in the back there. Now, as far as the air box is concerned, they, let's face it, they don't sell an air box for a twin turbo setup. So your filter is usually just exposed to all the elements outside. So we just took a five inch tubing and hooked it up to this box, this homemade box. And Dodge Ram has this vent and f that catches the air from the front and comes out here. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of foam or something to cover up that gap. But that's about it, man. So I hope you like this video. If you got any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to ask. Speak your mind. I don't care what you say. Just don't call me late for dinner. Right. Remember, this is a free channel. They say that it helps to subscribe and to hit that like button. So if you haven't already, do so. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys and girls. Take it easy until the next video. Later.